Ok, gracias. Sí. 73 y Alfa Delta 7 de Santiago, América. Buenas tardes, buenas noches. Ya canta en Auriel, hay alguien la que tengo de cerca. Tiene el elemento de, de 40 metros o ahora tiene una grande ahora. Oh boy, broke my tripod. No, esa, esa todavía no, esa no tiene los elementos. Esa todavía no los tiene. No ha cambiado la, la fotografía. En cualquier momento vamos a poner ahí los, los dos elementos. ¿Cuál me muevo adelante? Sí, Gracias. 73, muy buenas tardes. Alfa Delta 7, Santiago, América. Open Clear, dice 67, Sugar, America. Open Clear, muy buenas tardes. Oh, that's the guy in Eastern Washington. I've already got that guy on there in the backyard on a 30 foot piece of wire. I'm trying to fix my tripod. I, uh, I broke the aluminum pin. Anyway. Interesting. Like put a piece of wire through it or something. You know, I broke so many damn tripods lately. <laughs> it's unbelievable. This one's up too high right now, so I gotta lower it. All right, well, let's see what else we got here. See, this is why I like having a radio that's got a digital display with a waterfall because I can, I don't have to guess if there's something on the band. I'm not going to be able to listen to the entire band at once, but I can see the entire band at once. So, I don't, it's not really that important, but... Very rarely do I ever touch the thing and get it right. be broadcast yeah this is am <laughs> i was like jammers See, I just turned my antenna tuner into bypass because it's tuned for 80, so it's you know acting as a band stop. I guess that's one thing they don't talk about very much. So, if you have a tuner, even if you don't need a tuner and you tune it to the band that you're at, it actually helps filter out stuff from other bands. Thank you for 
There's always these guys right here. I thought they were speaking Spanish. But there's a bunch of Filipino or Vietnamese guys. There's like two signals right here. The band is so busy right now. This is another frequency that you'll never hear anything but whatever. I'm pretty sure that that's Spanish. But I've never heard a call sign before, so. I, I really kind of would be surprised if anybody would want to get on 4080 or any of those bands that isn't actually licensed. But you know. Hey, we never check. We never check five, do we? There used to be a bunch of guys on here. I don't, I don't remember what frequency they use. There actually was something right here. See it? radio government I see something else right next to it interesting Must be Martians on the Mars band. That's not him radio. This band starts at 5330.5. Hmm. 
I see another signal like there. That thing you see here like that that's making these lines, that's a a power supply or some kind of something scanning back and forth charging. This might be airplanes. Close enough, it sounded almost like a normal call sign. Any relays, over. No station heard out. Eight yes. Fox Star Bravo. Eight Bravo Sierra. No station heard out. Eight Bravo Sierra. Pirates? Eight bullshit. <laughs> See, and without a band scope, I wouldn't even know that this was going on. Let me know. 
uh, but I, you know, if all the other bands work, you know, it's just, uh, it's not going to be uh, anything too difficult because, um, um, you know, on the left side, if you if you were to move all that crap and open up the hood, on the left side there's a big row of crystals, and they're marked, so you, you can figure out which one it is pretty quickly. Um, and it's just a slug. That's it. You know, and uh, um, you can mark it at the bottom with a felt tip marker, and then uh, you know just go 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 a, a turn one way, and if it all of a sudden gets dry, let let up off of it, and you're done. But that, that's what I find is that components change, crystals change, and the oscillator just simply won't start. Okay, could be. I had a guy working on this one long ago when I, the first one I got. Uh, and Jerry actually went up to Hammond High Five and picked it up up there. Uh, Thank you. 
Delta 51S1. Did I get that right? Uh, well, yeah, I got several 51S1s. They're going to send one to Wayne Spring. I've got a uh, 28 volt one here that he wants. Um, instead of the you know, 115 um, uh, AC supply, it's, uh, it needs 28 volts. Um, must come out of an aircraft or something, uh, military model, but the. Uh, Yeah, I, I talked to him quite a bit. 
on the vintage sideband group. But uh, yeah, I didn't know that about him. Yeah, he was he was pretty fun. Matter of fact, the uh, I think I told you the death medical I got here. I got from Pete, and then he found the rest of the desk and took me up with the place. I got it all uh, uh, restored and everything, and uh, came down here and got it together. I, I remember. We had the amplifier on a, uh, a plastic dolly with plastic wheels and a crest to the ground. And uh, Pete goes, oh, now we're out. I said, no, we're not. I said, we're just going to, I'm going to pick it up and you put the other dolly underneath it. And he goes, you're not going to pick that up. And I said, yes, I am. You just get ready. And sure enough, I picked that damn thing up. He, he put the new dolly underneath it and couldn't believe it. See your death kill on the ground. You got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, I'll have to tell you the story about one of mine. Um, I got I got I got it from uh, Seal Beach, and it was up a spiral staircase. But yeah, I'll have to tell you the story sometime. Oh, hey, clerk. Yeah, but bump the VFO back the other way a little bit, Joe. Yeah, that was one of the one of the radios that I always wanted. 